Hey there, tech fans. Rick here again from the O-Ray team with an overview of the EX-330-K HDMI extension kit. This product allows you to share all of your HDMI media content with a second remote location up to 150 meters away over a single Cat 5V or Cat 6 LAN cable. The product fully supports high definition 1080p media content and also allows you to cascade multiple receivers off a single transmitter so you can actually have multiple locations receive the exact same media content from your sending location. The product is both HDMI 1.5 as well as HDCP 1.4 compliant, which means it works with a wide range of different media styles. Now, as part of this overview, I'd like to start with an unboxing just to show you everything that's included with the kit, and then I'll actually take a closer look at the transmitter and receiver modules and explain the connections and indicators. I'll list the features and functions the product provides, and then finally I'll come back and do a really quick demonstration to show you just how easy this product will be to use with your own equipment. So let's get started with the unboxing. When you first open up the box, you'll find a transmitter module and a receiver module. You'll find two DC power supplies, one for each of the modules. You can simply plug this into any standard wall outlet. The other end of the cable has a barrel connection on it, which plugs into the back of the unit and provides all the power you'll need for operation. Also included is a warranty card and a full instruction manual that lists connection diagrams, specifications, and other really important details you'll need to understand about this product to use it correctly. Now, if you stay tuned next, I'll take a closer look at both modules, I'll list the features and functions, and then I'll come back and do the demonstration. Inside the kit, you'll find a transmitter module and a receiver module. The transmitter module is labeled encoder, and the receiver module is labeled decoder. The transmitter module is located at the primary site, wherever the content is you'd like to distribute to that remote location. And the receiver module is at that secondary location and connected to the monitor you'd like to enjoy the content on. Both of these modules feature high impact plastic cases, which make them lightweight and very durable. I'll start with the transmitter module. On the one end, you'll find a full-sized HDMI port labeled in. This connects to whatever media device you'd like to share the content from with your remote location, standard HDMI connection. On the top of the unit, there are two LEDs, one labeled power, the other labeled link. The minute you add power to the module, it starts an internal power on self-test where it's checking the electronics just to make sure everything is working okay. In the case of the transmitter, it's also checking the resolution of the media device to make whatever adjustments are needed to give you the best possible picture at the remote location. Once you connect up the LAN cable between the two modules, the link light will come on letting you know you have a solid connection and you're ready to transmit video and audio. On the other end of the module, you'll find a DC power port right there. That's used with the included power supply. You'll simply plug that into a wall outlet. The barrel connection plugs right in there and provides all the power you'll need for operation. You'll also find a LAN port, and that's where one end of the CAT5V or CAT6 cable plugs in between the transmitter and the receiver. The receiver module is very similar. Again, on the one end, you'll find another HDMI port labeled out. That connects to the monitor you'd like to enjoy the content on at that remote location. Standard HDMI connection there. On the top, you'll find a power indicator and a link light. This will come on the minute the power on self-test passes. The link light lets you know you have a solid connection over your LAN. On the other end, you'll find the same DC input port. The second power supply plugs in there. And finally, one more LAN port, and that's where the other end of the cable from the transmitter plugs in to make the connection between the two locations. The O-Ray EX-330-K is compatible with most modern HDMI media sources, including DVD players, game consoles, computer systems, streaming devices, and media players like Roku. The product's features include full support of 1080p high-definition media content. It provides distances of up to 150 meters between the primary and secondary locations. It is both HDMI 1.5 and HDCP 1.4 compliant. Multiple receivers are supported from a single transmitter and it uses a standard LAN cable for connection between the primary and secondary locations. Now I'll show you just how easy it'll be to use this product with your own equipment. And for this demonstration, over here I've set up a small media player that's currently looping a video on this monitor, and that's the media content that I'd like to send to my remote location. Over here I've set up a second monitor, and this represents my secondary location. It's wherever I'd like to enjoy the content from that primary location and these can be up to 150 meters apart. In front of me, I have the transmitter module here and the receiver module here. Now, the first connection I'll make is from my media player to the transmitter, and I'll do that by disconnecting the HDMI cable from the display and plugging this into the HDMI input port in the transmitter. And now we're all set to connect the monitor at that remote location. 
I've already added an HDMI cable to the monitor. The other end of that cable plugs into the HDMI output port on the receiver. And now we can set up our network between them. And it's really important you use a high quality LAN cable between your primary location and your secondary location to ensure the best possible resolution on that remote monitor. And for this demonstration, I've got a short CAT7 cable just to make it easy to connect the two together. I'll plug that into the transmitter and the other end of the cable into the LAN port on the receiver. And now we're all set to add power. I've already plugged both power supplies in. The other end of the cable from those power supplies has a barrel connection on it, which plugs directly into each of the modules. So I'll plug in the power supply to the receiver first, and then the transmitter. And it's not important which order you plug in first. It'll work fine if you switch those. The minute you add power to these modules, though, they immediately start an internal power on self-test. The transmitter's also checking the resolution of the media player. The receiver's checking the resolution of the monitor. They're negotiating the best possible resolution. And there you go. So what you're looking at right here is the content from the primary side being sent remotely to that secondary location over a single LAN cable. So it's pretty amazing that these can be up to 150 meters apart. Now, one advantage to this particular system is right now I'm in what's called a one-to-one -one relationship where I have one transmitter and one receiver. So I'm essentially sending the content to one location. This product allows you to do a one-to-many relationship where you can actually cascade receivers and have that displayed on multiple monitors at the same time. And it's incredibly easy to do that, but you will need to use a switch. So I've got a really basic one gig unmanaged switch right here. And the way you'll have this happen is you'll disconnect this from the receiver, you'll add it to your switch, just plug it into the first port, and then you need another LAN cable to connect up that remote receiver. So I'll just pick another port in the switch, and I'll connect that up to my first receiver. And the minute I do that, they'll handshake again, and in a second you'll see the display come up over here. Now to enable another monitor, I'll need another receiver. So I've got one right here that I've already powered up, and I'll connect it up to the monitor, with an HDMI cable. Again, the same as the first one. I'll just plug it into the display, and the other end of that cable gets plugged into the HDMI output port on the second receiver, and I'll need one more LAN cable to make that connection. I'll just pick another port on my switch, plug that in, and then add that to the LAN port on that second receiver. And again, what's gonna happen is it's gonna renegotiate the resolution, take a couple of seconds to make those adjustments, and you'll see the same image on both of these monitors. Now, what's really nice about this is that you can cascade these to have multiple monitors showing the exact same content. So if you're at a trade show and you've got multiple monitors that you'd like to display a video on, this is a great solution for that. Or if you're at home and you have multiple TVs in different rooms that you wanna have the same movie playing on, this works perfectly well for that as well. And it's really just that easy to get it working. I hope you found this overview of the O-Ray EX-330-K HDMI extension kit helpful. It really does provide an incredibly easy way for you to share all of your HDMI media content with a remote location up to 150 meters away in full 1080p high definition resolution over a single CAT5e or CAT6 LAN cable. And the fact that the product supports both HDMI 1.5 and HDCP 1.4 means that you can play a wide range of different media styles across that extended connection. Finally, the product product also includes the ability to do a one-to-one -one relationship where it's one transmitter and one receiver, or one-to-many, which allows you to cascade that media content to multiple monitors at great distance away from the primary site. Everything you need to get started is included with the kit, and with a few simple connections, you can be up and running in no time. So until next time, thanks again for watching.